first we'll be sewing this missing pieces together always use a matching thread while sewing now this we had already pinned so from this intersection point to the other intersection point lock at the beginning and at the end we are sewing it half an inch this is how we have sewn and on the right side it should perfectly match with the lines so this is done we'll be doing the same for the other leg So this is done. Now it's complete. Now we'll be sewing the ankle part. The side with these markings is the wrong side. On the wrong side, fold half inch and half inch again. Now it's easy because if you remember I told you to run the tracing wheel in the inside marking earlier after we cut the fabric. You can see the marking here. First fold can be to the marking and fold again. And also, as this is bias, do not stretch it. Now we'll be sewing to this edge without stretching the fabric. So I've sewn here. Now before proceeding, let me just explain this. When you fold, if you fold less in one place and more in one place, you will not get this smooth effect it will all look twisted so when you fold you have to fold it uniformly and equally that is when this tracing wheel mark helps or if you have not run the tracing wheel you can also mark one inch from the edge with your chalk and measuring tape and fold accordingly next is fold it in half the wrong side is here right side of the fabric is inside now we'll be sewing on the marking that we have made now again, why we made these notches in two or three places was when you sew this, because it's bias, one fabric can get stretched and the edges may not be even. The notches help you to align the edges together. Lock at the end and sew all the way. As you're sewing, slightly stretch the fabric, that is hold both the layers together. The notches are matching. Slightly stretch it and so I'll tell you why later. Next notch is matching. This was yet another notch we made. Even this is matching. If all the notches matched, you wouldn't get a difference here when you come to the end. The fabric edges will be together. Now we'll be sewing all the way till the end and lock and stop. Now hold the stitch and stretch it and see if the stitches break. Sometimes the stitches will be holding the fabric and they break as you stretch. If you don't break it at this time, when you wear they can break. So this is not holding up. Now you can go ahead and put another stitch. Do the same for the other part. Now I've stitched the other side also. Now if you see the stitches are breaking because I did not stretch this while sewing as I told you earlier in the other leg. I just wanted to show you this. Now once the stitches break put another stitch on the same stitch line. Both the legs are done, now we'll need to join them together. But before that, if you have an overlocking machine, do the overlocking in the inseam. For more classes in pattern making and sewing, visit our website saviesfashionstudio.com. There are lots of free tutorials to help you start your journey in the world of sewing. I've already done it. Now turn one of the legs right side out, put this inside the other leg, align the inseams together and pin it. Align the crotch of both the legs together. Now if you see the right sides are facing each other and on top we have the wrong side of one leg and inside we have wrong side of the other leg. Align the edges together and sew at half an inch that is lock and stitch at half an inch from the edge. 
because that's the seam allowance we had given. If you had given 3 4 inch seam allowance, then you would be stitching at 3 4 inch. Stitch all the way after you reach here, continue to the other side. Sew all the way and stop sewing 4 inches from the edge on the other side. So that will be your front. I've already marked 4 inches here. From the edge, 4 inches down, do a marking and you'll be stopping there and lock there. So let's sew this. As you're sewing, if you're holding one fabric, you may unintentionally stretch the fabric and when you read the end, you may get some difference. So when you're holding the fabric, hold both the layers together. This is the 4 inch mark. We'll stop here and lock. On the same stitch line, stitch again to reinforce the stitch. Now bring out the leg that you had put inside the other. Now both the legs are attached. At this opening take one of the layers, fold quarter inch and quarter inch again and you'll be sewing to this edge. Sew all the way down. Put your needle in, lift the photo and cross over to the other side and continue sewing. This is similar to how we finish the side slits in a kurti. So I'll be sewing this now. Put the needle in at that 4 inch mark and lift the footer and turn the fabric. Cross over to this side. Again with the needle in, lift the foot, turn the fabric and sew the other side. So this is how it looks. This will be your friend. Now the last thing is doing the casing at the waist to put the drawstring. You can see the 2 inch mark from the edge. We will be folding at that 2 inch mark and folding a quarter inch here and sewing here at the edge. If you find this difficult you can fold quarter inch and sew first then fold at the marking. Either way is fine. Lock at the beginning and the end. This part is bias and you may find it a little tricky to sew this. It should look nice and smooth. You should not get twisted casing. The twisted casing happens when you fold little less in one place and more in another. That's why we run the tracing wheel when we were cutting the fabric so that you have the tracing wheel mark to fold the casing and you can get it even all the way round. So I'll finish this and show it to you. I've sewn all around and come to the end of the other side. Before finishing, just make sure both the casings match each other. There should not be a difference like this. Now we'll be making the drawstring. From the leftover fabric, cut one and quarter to one and half inch wide strip, and uh, the length would be double your hip round or little less. Now I've got two strips of fabric. I'll be joining it in the middle. Fold on one side, fold the other side and fold in the center and you'll be sewing to the edge. The drawstring is ready. Now insert it using a pin or a needle. can put the back of the big needle inside. Now the churi or push-up pant is ready. 